How are you? Yeah, I'm good. What about you? Good, I'm good. So, how's your practice going on? <clears throat> uh, it's going pretty good. Okay, nice. So, when was the last time we had a session? I think uh, a month before. Month Don't ago, right? remember exactly, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, do you remember what all things we discussed that day? I think uh, it was basic introduction. Okay. And uh, wait, that was our first session. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, that was our first session. And I also asked you to listen to short stories and all. So, are you listening to short stories? Uh, I don't remember when you asked me. Okay. I think I told you to read books and listen something every day to improve your sentence structure, vocabulary. I gave you some tips, right? The last time, if you remember. Yeah, but I don't remember right now. Okay, okay, it's okay. <laughs> How many sessions have you attended so far? Um, roughly, I think it's about 65. 61, okay, that's great. So how was your overall experience then? Um, I have improved a lot in my confidence. and Also, my English has improved. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think there is a huge room to improvement. Mm, nice. So today, uh, what's the topic of the session? Uh, I think it's about global issues. Do you want to talk about this or shall we do some other activity? Maybe I can give you some topics to talk about. Mm, I would like that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do one thing. In the first half of the session, I'll ask you some general questions. And in the okay. second half, we'll do another activity. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. So these are some questions which are about you and like you just listen to the question, answer it accordingly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these are very general questions. So tell me, uh, what is your uh, biggest fear in life? <clears throat> biggest fear? Uh, my biggest fear is uh, losing someone uh, <clears throat> I love. Okay. To lose someone like a loved one, right? Yes. Okay. That is your biggest fear. Okay. That's nice. Now tell me... Uh, what is that one thing which you want to change about yourself? <clears throat> uh, sometimes I become so lazy. I, I don't want to do anything. <clears throat> because of that, uh, I may procrastinate some work. Mm. So mm. I want to change that thing. So what do you think? How can you overcome this situation, you know, of being lazy? Uh, I think uh, I wait for the last minute, uh, minute of the deadline. So I want to change that habit. <laughs> and yeah, I am try to manage it uh, within deadline, but it's always last minute. So mm. I want to improve that. Okay, nice. Okay, next question. Tell me, uh, what is that one thing which makes you angry? What is that one thing? Angry, uh, I rarely become angry, but uh, maybe it's something that uh, I told someone that uh, they should not do <clears throat> this in uh, uh, in work. I told okay. them uh, to do this in manner, but uh, they always do it uh, the way I don't like. So sometimes I get irritated by that. Mm, okay. So you don't become angry, you get angry. Yes. Right? You cannot become angry. You, you just yes. get angry for a while and it's then you just... Choice. Yeah, you're normal after that. Get angry. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Definitely it's a choice, but uh, it's a subconscious choice basically. When you're angry, you're not conscious that time. Yeah. You just do things, you just say things, right? Okay. Yeah. Now the opposite question, uh, what is that one thing which makes you laugh or maybe happy? Makes me happy. Uh, I became happy so easily. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone give me ice cream, I became happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can become happy with small uh, efforts, small, small things. things also, yeah. Right? Okay. Nice. All right. Okay. So what are you doing these days? Like, you know, in your studies or something? Yeah. Uh, I'm a final year student. Uh, I'm in the last semester of my degree. So mm -hmm. I have projects to work on and there are no classes right now. We are mm. just working on those. Okay. One more question uh, like about being a student. So tell me, what is the best thing about 
being a student? I think college life is the best thing about being mm-hmm. a student. Um, we enjoy um, that process of learning and mm-hmm. events in the college. We uh, explore ourselves uh, in that process and we get opportunities to improve ourselves and our mm-hmm. personality. So mm-hmm. I think that's that. That's the best thing, the college life part, right? Yeah. Okay. Now the opposite. What is the worst thing about being a student? I think uh, attending seventy five percent of the classes. That is the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. That can be the case for sure. Yeah. So if you don't, so what happens if you don't attend your classes for you know, if your attendance is not seventy five percent, what what may happen? Uh, if it is. uh there is a range i think it is uh, ab- uh above 50 they will just send a letter to our parents mm. or uh, it's below 50 then uh, they will just uh, debar you for the semester okay so how do you calculate it like for example if there are 30 days in a month you have to go to college let's say four weeks so you have to go to at least college like three weeks at least every month yeah. Yeah. Like for maybe like four or five days, if you're not going to college, it's fine. Yes. But rest of the days, you have to visit the college and you know mark your yes. attendance. Otherwise, you might receive a letter. Yes. So, what is your attendance right now? Right now, uh, I can say about last semester. It's because of the uh, placement activities. Uh, mm-hmm. It was fifty. Otherwise, uh, mm-hmm. I always managed to eighty uh, to eighty five. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That's nice. So tell me. See, the topic of today's session was uh, global issues. You said, right? Yes. Can you like name any global issue which is happening these days? Anything in your experience? Uh, I can say anything? it's recession. Recession is a global issue. Yes. Yeah. And global warming. <laughs> global warming <laughs> has been there uh, like from a long time. long time yeah. yeah right like the glaciers are melting and uh, the water level is rising every day yes. okay global issue like i i think these days earthquakes are hitting the earth you know this yes. a lot like yeah. in turkey and like in turkey the, yeah. in 66 hours uh, it was hit for about 24 times by the earthquake oh my god four times and uh, so scientists uh, they have uh, you know suspected that uh, there might be an earthquake in the northern part of india also like in uttarakhand region or himachal region after some time oh. and the intensity would be around 7 point something which is a lot actually we should be prepared for that by the way do you know how what's the how like earthquake happens uh i i know the rough idea but i don't know exactly uh we learned it idea? in the school Uh, it's idea? because of the lava that uh, uh, boils and explodes. <laughs> that is not earthquake. <laughs> I don't that know is, that. That is that is volcanic eruption. Ah, right. That's not earthquake. I mean, so earthquake, yeah. you know, bhukam. That is different. Yeah, right. Basically, what happens like below the earth crust, there are like tectonic mm-hmm. plates which are moving constantly. So, mm-hmm. if two tectonic plates collide with each other, it creates a vibration. oh right like this and that's called earthquake so i think you you were confused with the ah uh, yeah that uh, earthquake all can earthquake i also <laughs> used to be you know very confused that earthquake is that that has nothing to do with lava that is volcanic eruption volcano is something else okay right volcanoes are different okay so yeah, that was about the global issue and as you, as you mentioned the recession and i think covid 19 was a global issue a couple of years ago a yes. year ago maybe hmm. yeah how's the situation in your city these days these days uh, it is under control there are no nobody cases. nobody wears mask right no hmm that's the thing some people are there they wear because of the habit and it's not the compulsion here no i think people are just wearing masks to you know protect themselves from the dust not from the right. virus yeah. mm. yes 
I barely see anyone, you know, wearing mask these days. Yeah. Earlier, people used to wear masks. Like everyone is wearing masks, and it was sanitizer, it like <laughs> sanitizers and all. So it felt like this is going to be a part of our lifestyle now. After some time. Yeah. But it is it is different, right? Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So that was about it. Now we'll do our uh, next activity. For this, I will share something on your screen. You have to introduce yourself, but with the help of this information. Okay. So you can start like, hi, my name is Himanshu. I'm from India. I live in New yes. Delhi. In the same manner, from top to bottom, you have to like fill up all of these things with details. Okay. okay. Just go through it once and then you can start. Because the reason I'm asking you to go through it once, because I don't want you to get stuck somewhere. So you should yes. know what you have to say. So just have a look at it first. Okay. You can start. You can start now. Yes. Yeah. Hi, mm. my name is Prajakta, and I am from India. I live in Solapur. Uh, mm. My birthday is on twelfth September, and I am a student right now. And I work for. Uh, I am confused here. I work for what? I work for. You can just skip it. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, there are four people in my family. Uh, they are my brother, my mom, dad, and my father is a farmer, and my mother is a uh, homemaker. My hobby is uh, uh, reading books, and my favorite sports is cricket. Uh, in my free time, uh, I also like to uh, watch uh, web series and movies. Mm. I don't like. Uh, what I don't like. Uh, I don't like. You can mention something which you don't like exactly. Yeah. Uh, I don't like uh, being around mean people. Mm -hmm. And uh, my favorite food is burger. My favorite drink is watermelon juice. Uh, my favorite day of week is Sunday because I have nothing to do on that day. And my favorite singer is Arjit Singh. And I like uh, comedy movies or romantic movies. Mm. Uh, my favorite place is uh, I think it would be Manali because of the nature. Uh, I like it because of the nature and the peaceful environment. Uh, my favorite singer is sorry, I think it's yeah, it's repeated. Mm -hmm. You, you can my skip favorite, it. Uh, I like uh, traveling. I have been to Hyderabad and the most beautiful place in my country, it would be uh, uh, Kashmir. Uh, and I study English because I want to improve my English and uh, I want to, uh, uh, I'm going to do job uh, in upcoming months. So I want to improve my English because of that also. Yes, that. I said English because I want to 
prepare for improve. interviews or improve Thank my you. communication skills. Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes, see, this is this activity is to you know improve your uh, fluency. Yeah. All right. So what happens is, uh, first of all, take a screenshot of it because I like I want you to practice it again. Okay. And uh, once you're practicing it, try to be more descriptive and more fluent this and the next time, because this was the first time you were doing this activity. We'll do this one more time in the next session. And that hmm. time I want to be like more fluent than this. OK, oh. that's about it. And apart from that, I think overall it was pretty good. Have you taken the screenshot? Yes, <clears throat> I have. Okay. Take a screenshot of these words as well. All right. Yes. Okay. So now the thing yeah. is that, uh, yes. So the thing is that uh, when you'll be practicing these words, hmm. what I want you to do is I want you to make sentences as well. Okay. Don't just, uh, you know, remember the meaning. Like, for example, if you want to yeah. use very angry, you can use furious. Yes. Yeah. Very upset, you can use distraught. But yeah. if you don't make a sentence with this, these words, you will not remember them for a long time. Yeah. Right. Okay. So work on that aspect. And apart from this, uh, I think you spoke well. You have improved a little bit in terms of your sentence structure. But yes. keep practicing. Okay. Don't stop. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Have you taken a screenshot? Yes, I have taken. Nice. So if there is anything else you want me to, you know, you if you want to ask any question or anything, you can let me know. Okay. Uh, I want to ask what you do apart from clapping go. Okay. So apart from clapping go, I'm into content writing. And uh, moreover, I love to travel. So I'm learning photography as well. Nice. Landscape photography, basically. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. That. Okay. Anything else? No. No problem. Okay, then. I'll see you in the next session. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.